Hi YouTube, it's Sunday, actually about the middle of the day, about 12 o'clock, uh, November 16th. And as you can see, we got a little, a little something different to do today. I just discovered after all the leaves fell off, the camera's not focusing, that we have a hornet's nest up in here. Uh, that looks like the nest to what they call a bald faced hornet. They're a big black hornet with kind of like white stripes. And uh, I don't know how long this has been here. This is the first time I noticed it, which I could. This tree was had lots and lots of leaves on it, so that nest was completely covered through the summer. I didn't really have any trouble. And the scary thing is, if there were any up there this year, I'm not sure if there's anything in there right now or not. But that I've started that race car several times this year, and uh, you know how hornets are about noise and vibration. But I didn't have any trouble, so I guess I guess I was lucky. But uh, the only hornets I've seen around here all summer, one night in the garage after dark, of course, uh, I've seen one flying around in the lights like it couldn't find its way out. It wasn't even being aggressive or mean, but um, I put the good old carburetor cleaner to it. And um, since it's so cold, it's like right at the freezing mark. It's supposed to snow tonight. And... A, the dog's water bowl was frozen over, so I'm confident that they are dormant. Let me get up here on the trailer here. And I'm going to still be cautious. See all the hail dance on top of my trailer from, remember the hail storm? Oh, this whole trailer needs cleaned up. But I don't know if there's anything in it or not. I'm going to go ahead cut some stuff out of my way just in case which I am very confident could be wrong but I'm very confident that I'm not going to have any trouble at 32 degrees hornets just don't fly around at 32 degrees they're in there being dormant if they're in there at all when I get it down we'll chop it open because yes we're going to burn it so animal lovers who call me an evil hornet killing what should I call it? Whatever you want to call me, I don't care. I don't want my dogs being attacked. I don't want this nest to get bigger. I don't want to get attacked. I don't want any kids that may be in the area getting attacked. So there. I'm going to get rid of the hornets. People tend to be really critical. Okay, we're already shaking it around. Let's just get a good look at it before we mess with it. Get a good close up of it. I don't see anything. I'm going to go as far as to. Um, I'm probably taking a lot more precaution than I have to. Well, no, I'm not. It's cold. See a little paper fly? That's all it is paper. I could bust it open right now. But I want to cut it up as a whole and get it down. Uh, a lot of people keep them. I'm, I'm going to destroy it because. I could be wrong, but I think that it's possible if there are or no if there are no hornets in it that are going to be dormant all winter. Um, they could possibly next year's hornets may possibly find it and say, "Hey, there's a home already built for us." So I don't see anything. So let's get my pliers and just do this one limb at a time. that <laughs> just knowing what might be in there I'm still nervous even though it's too cold for anything to happen you know now I'm gonna have to um, set my camera down because it's gonna fall when I cut this so I might not get to see that All right, before I cut the last limb, I'll just put the camera on the tripod. Let's try to get up here again without falling off. Thank you. 
Okay, if they're in there, they're not giving me much trouble. Whoops, camera's all. There it is. Yeah. I still don't like holding this. I hate wasps and hornets. I see a hole. I don't see anything in there. Give you a good close up. Actually, this camera, after the film, the chip is uploaded on the camera on the PC, you can probably see better than I can right now. I don't see anything trying to come out. There may be nothing in there, but um, let me pause the camera and we're going to take it to my little fire bin behind the garage and uh, we're going to burn it. Okay, I took the nest over to show it to my mother who lives over there. I already told you about that. She wanted to see it. And she's still worried something they're going to come out and get me. It's too cold for that. So we're going to chop it open. I'm still going to proceed with caution and be ready to run. But like I said, common sense tells you hornets can't do anything 32 degrees in. I don't think there's anything in it. So, yes, I'm taking down a hornet's nest. And chopping it open. And like I thought, all it looks like is a huge wasp nest. Looking for like, ah, oh, there's still some uh, larvae in there. You know what? There's one little one. Yeah. Yeah, there's kind of stinks. Or no, that's that weed I smell. <laughs> it's like it's like sickle bush or something, but it kind of kind of stinks. But um, yeah, I don't see. anything in there pretty cool to look at it inside that's pretty much looks like a huge wasp nest what that is it shows you how many were in there though that's a bunch of babies um no they're kind of rotten they're not alive and there's just one dead and that's a little one uh, the one i saw was big he he might not be dead he might be just um cold who knows See? Right there. That's a close-up look at him. Huh. He's not dried out. Hmm. Look, that larvae kind of stinks. So, I'm going to gonna burn this. So, not only am I an evil hornet killer, but I'm also going to pollute by burning some sticks. Yeah, that's real toxic stuff there. So... this video why am I putting that there I'll put it in the shed since this video is kind of short and um, for those of you wanting to know about the power stroke I know I haven't been making a lot of videos on it but I have been working on it the front panel is kind of kicking my rear end but I'm getting there it's uh, it's starting to come along and I'm kind of close to being done with that front panel and I haven't been working on it every single day giving it all I got because there's just other things to do I've had a lot of little things to do this morning and this weekend. Had to make a few other home repairs. Um, had to take down this nest. I had to clean a rabbit this morning because Angel got it. I didn't shoot it. Angel, wherever she went, there she is, killed it. I let her out 6 o'clock this morning because she wanted to go to the bathroom. And as you can see, she's full of spunk and fire. She likes the cold air. But it, anyway, she went out to go to the bathroom, and uh, I laid down for about 10 minutes, got back up, let her in, and there was a dead rabbit on the sidewalk. She ate one leg, so I got it away from her before she ate it, and I thought, well, while it's fresh, no need to let it go to waste. So I cleaned it, and I'm going to have fried rabbit. It's soaking in salt water now. I'm going to have fried rabbit Thursday. And another thing I've been up to, the oil furnace. Got it up and running for the winter again. Uh, that was something else I spent a whole weekend doing. That last warm weekend we had. Weekend before last. Yeah, the last weekend. Uh, I had to put a new uh, flue pipe in. 
the winter habitat renewal. Got all of this. This already had the piece that it goes to rotted away, but this was still good. Got all of this and the pipe going out the roof. Ouch, hook my little arm. You can see that. Got the pipe coming out the roof for $7.50 at Habitat Renewal. They had exactly what I need. Everything except for the cap. See the roof cap that keeps the rain from going in the pipe? I had to get that from Home Depot and that was that one piece was more than everything else because I had to buy a brand spanking new. Actually this pipe looked like it had been used in maybe a propane furnace because it just had a little bit of white powder in it, but it's it's just just like new. And I had to read I kind of had to do a redneck repair on this box here. I used an old stove pipe. This outlet box, this is where the exhaust comes out of the heat exchanger. Or maybe it's a fire box. Uh, I had to uh, do a temporary redneck repair on it. That is stove pipe metal that I wrapped around it tack weld together. I'm rounding up some stainless steel from work. I'm going to weld up a good solid metal box, stainless steel box. Just make a replica of this right here and bolt it on. And that should last longer than the life of the heat box and heat exchanger. I also need to inspect the heat exchanger this summer. It's good for now, I'm sure. And I've been experimenting. Actually, what I really want is an honest-to-goodness waste oil heater. Just because I like the idea of the free used oil as free fuel. But uh, I have been reading these furnaces will build it, will burn it. You modify them but something i have been doing so i use just uh, diesel fuel which is the same thing as fuel oil fuel oil is just diesel fuel with dye as far as i know but i've been mixing one gallon of used motor oil with four gallons of diesel fuel and as you see i strain it through a rag and funnel so that i don't get any big impurities in it and um, it's been running all week on that only trouble I had, I came out here one morning while it was cold and it wouldn't fire. And and I know that, honest to goodness, real waste oil heaters have a line heater. They, they, they got all kinds of complicated stuff on them. A lot of things that go wrong too, but I still want one. But they have a, a line heater because that oil gets thick and it doesn't want to spray out into the firebox at night. But, my answer to that is, I already have this old kerosene-powered torpedo here. Stick this right here for about an hour, and the furnace fires right up. As you can see, I'll shut it off, which is still hot now. It's kind of cheating, but um, it fires right up, no trouble. And, it, and it's got the, that percentage of oil in it. Kicks right off. As long as the oil's good and warm and flowing, you're okay. I thought about increasing the mixture. A little more. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I don't think I want to push it too far. But um, in a in forest fuse, I don't smell anything. While it's burning good and hot, as of right now, this flue dampener is forcing hot air out. So I'm getting some exhaust in here, and I don't smell a thing. All you see is hot, clear vapors coming out. It burns very clean. So that's enough of that. I am going to start a little start a little fire in the back and um, just want to say thanks for watching hang in there for those of you who are wanting to see that power stroke get finished winter's here now officially maybe not date wise but uh, weather wise it is I think we're gonna have another bad cold one um, it won't be like last year I have plenty of firewood my heat pump is working now so I don't have to depend on all firewood last year I spent most of my winter cutting firewood so hopefully I can spend more time in the garage than I did last year. And uh, regardless of how brutal this winter is. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my new subscribers and thanks for the comments. And uh, keep, keep them uh, thumbs up coming. I appreciate it.